chicken's all sauteed up from the Dutch oven to go back in. We've got the, the onions sauteing up to get nice and, and um, translucent, maybe not quite fried, but close. Then we're going to add the green pepper and then all the, um, the garlic and the mushrooms and all of that stuff. This is going to be a happy birthday dinner for Richard. More to come. Now this is how the red sauce should look. Another 20 or 30 minutes. It'll be ready to scoop into the um, rotini. I'll be making the uh, frosting. Time to get the water boiling for the rotini. Dinner soon. Lots of cheese, goodies. It's birthday! The red velvet cake is out of the oven. It's cool. We'll make that fantastic secret homemade frosting that's light, fluffy, and not too sweet. People kill for that particular little recipe. The sauce is now cooking down, cooking down. It needs at least another hour to reduce down before we can cook up the rotini and then load it all into a big pile and load it up with cheese and bake it. I wonder if we'll have leftovers. The garlic bread will be in there as well. Happy eating. Uh, happy birthday to Richard. Cake. We have cake. Red velvet. The leftovers of the um, red sauce and chicken. The rest of it in the rotini bake and the uh, garlic bread in the oven. Good eats. We'll be making chili. Don't have any ground chuck, but I do have a chuck roast I'm going to cut up and load in to my new favorite thing, something I've kind of let go for a while. The tank. Um, pork cast iron Dutch oven. So I'm not making a huge vat, but we will have cornbread and, and good stuff later. The chuck roast is all chopped up and browning really nice. We have the perennial uh, peppers and onions. We've got the limes ready. Um, we've got the salsa and the, the beans and the tomatoes. I swear I wasn't going to make a big pot. Well, I'm going to have to scale back. We'll see how it goes. The pot is really ready to add all the spices to. We've already gone ahead and browned the chuck, the onions, the peppers, the garlic, added the um, diced petite tomatoes, uh, the, black, um, the dark red kidney beans, and the light red kidney beans, some salsa. Now we're going to go ahead and spice it up. The pot is full, but it's now really beginning to simmer down, and um, it'll lose a lot of that liquid and become a lot thicker, a little richer over time. And um, here in a little bit, we'll have cornbread. Now, you know I'm always um, challenged for any of those that know me. I can't do two things at once, but look, I actually did get the lime in there. We will go ahead and finish the chili with some French, fresh lime juice. I'll probably use the other one as well, but um, I can't um, change that over right now. It'll give it a little fresh taste um, to add to the depth of the flavor. And then the, um, the cornbread is in the oven, and it'll finish up, and it will be dinner. Happy Sunday. Happy eating, everybody.